The next question, Sayyid Faisal from Uttar Pradesh, India. Assalamu alaikum. Why has Allah made me a Muslim? And why was I born in a Muslim family? And my friends in a non-Muslim family? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا It is Allah who has created life and death to test which of you are good in deeds. So this life, it is a test for the hereafter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests different people in different ways. And our blood Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that every child is born in Deen al-Fitrah. That is, every child is born as a Muslim. It is later on that his parents, they may make him a Hindu, a Christian, a Jew, etc. And just because a person is born in a Muslim family, he is not guaranteed paradise. A person may be a Muslim throughout his life, but a few days or just before dying, he may commit shirk and his abode will be the hellfire. Similarly, a non-Muslim, he may be a non-Muslim throughout his life, but a few days before he dies, he may understand the truth of Islam, he may accept Islam, and once he embraces Islam, he will enter paradise. So it is all subjective. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 53, سَنُورِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيْنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ Soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their souls until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deliver the message to each and every human being. So no human being has the excuse that he did not receive the message. It is upon the non-Muslim, upon the human being to accept the message or to reject it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests different people in different ways. There are thousands of Muslims who are Muslims but they do not practice. They do not offer salah. So they are just Muslim by name. So it is all subjective. Even if a person is born in a non-Muslim family, he has the opportunity throughout his life to embrace Islam. And once he embraces Islam, he is a Muslim by choice. Many of us are Muslims by chance. And we take it for granted. But many a times non-Muslims, they work hard to search for truth. And once they embrace Islam, they are much more practicing than many of the born Muslims. So it is all subjective. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests different people in different ways.